Hi, it's Bridget. Welcome to Above Life Channel. Ooh, wait. What am I talking about? It's Sunday morning coffee with Bridget. Oh my goodness, you guys. Uh, I just did a channeling video. That's probably why I'm thinking about Above Life Channel channeling. Okay, okay, okay. Sunday morning coffee podcast. Switch the channel. Okay, so today we're going to have a conversation about the topic of homecoming. Where I live in the Midwest, tis the season, the fall, when all the kids go back to school in September and October, we have what's called homecoming, where there's like this big celebration week, and there's like a homecoming court, king and queen are voted on, and there's like royalty, there's a big homecoming football game, there's a parade, all that kind of stuff. So that's what's happening here. We're not really into it. My oldest is a senior, but he's not really into that. And my youngest is a seventh grader and thinks it's dumb. So dumb. Why are people dressing weird this week? There's themes and it's weird. So I thought, let's do a conversation about that from a spiritual perspective or an energetic perspective. Homecoming. So big question for you. Now, I didn't mean to invoke memories from your past, but I may have done that. And if I have... If we've stirred that up, I'm just going to ask your healing team, aligned with your highest good, the energy of God, creator, source, universe, and cosmic consciousness to enfold you, encompass you, and support you through your own memories, through your own unfolding. If you have some memories that come up or some things that are triggered and they're maybe not so pleasant, be gentle with yourself. Just be soft and just let them be. Remember, the past is the past. It's not the present. And if it's triggering you, it's because there's a piece of that that might be showing up in your life today that might be related to that. And you have an opportunity to clear it, to heal it, to pay attention to it, and to make a different choice, to be the change, as they say. So moving on from that the concept of homecoming, when I felt into it from a spiritual perspective, felt like, what is home to you? What is home? There is this song by the Christian rock group, Mercy Me, and it's called Home. And it talks about being homesick and feeling this ache for heaven for the afterlife for spirit and it's kind of for me it's from this perspective of having a loved one that has died and missing that connection to them and feeling homesick for heaven because then you're with that person and feeling homesick for that person so it might be about grief a bit the homecoming energy but it might also be about this grief within your soul for what you're not living now so homecoming I want to I want to talk to you about homecoming in regards to what are you missing now? What are you missing out on? What are you holding yourself away from? Are you really afraid of disappointment, of not meeting someone else's expectations of beauty, of intelligence, of definition of whatever it may be that someone else is looking for? Are you afraid of that? And is that why you're holding yourself back? Or is it this memory of the past of you when you were 18 that couldn't fulfill, couldn't make the honor roll or didn't get into the college of your choice or was dumped by that girlfriend, etc., or or just didn't feel good enough. The energy of coming home or homecoming is about you being present for your life as your fullest self. So your spirit, your soul, living large. That doesn't mean bold and out there and in people's faces and finding the cure for cancer or marching for a cause. It means living fully, meaning allowing yourself to recognize what matters to you and what doesn't and knowing that you are not the same person you were when you were 18 years old and you are not the same person you were maybe even three years ago. We have been through a lot collectively in the last two years. 2020 was a big one for many of us. And it forces a lifestyle change. It asks hard questions. Now your spirit is going to make you notice her. Your spirit is going to demand a place at the table because this is what you have asked for all along. 
And now is the time to listen. Listen to yourself. Go on an inner journey. Focus on your intuition. That's why there's so much propaganda about self-care and self-love and kindness. Because the truth is, everyone is trying to get you to focus on what really is going to help you, which is you, helping you. You helping you. How sweet and beautiful is that to know that you are absolutely everything. You are everything. You are the meaning of life. For you, from your core, make all of your decisions from here, from this point. Be gentle and kind with yourself. If, if you are making changes in your life and you are trying to work through something, whether it be an addiction or a change in a relationship, or something brand new. Maybe you just started a new career, and maybe it's hard. Maybe it's really hard. Or maybe you're starting over again. Maybe you've just gotten divorced, or you just moved out of your house because you had to. Maybe finances are tough right now. And guess what? You are here for you. You are what you need. You will be cared for and provided for, and the universe has an incredible amount of love for you. And it's never ending and it's not conditional. It's not circumstantial. It's not through someone else's eyes. You are worthy. You are perfect. You are incredibly capable of making choices and decisions. It's not a one-time thing. Flip a switch. Magically, your life is totally different. You are growing and evolving and you're waking up one day and realizing you feel different. I know what that's like. I know what that's like. And trying to make sense of the world through new eyes or through a new perspective based upon whatever you've been through or what you've realized or come to know or discover about yourself or others around you, it's hard. I mean, it's not easy. But you are home within yourself. Your body and your soul together, united, that's what home is. Home is not a place. So when you're coming home, it means you're connecting to both sides of yourself. Your human side and your spirit. United, bonded, holy union. That's what it means. You and you together, always. Nice breath in. Big exhale, release with me. Good, good. Did you need that little pep talk, did you? Homecoming. They say that, uh, there's a common saying that says, home is where your heart is, and it's true. It's where your heart and your soul are in union. It's like a marriage between your heart and your spirit. That's what it feels like, this beautiful commitment. Your soul adores your heart. It totally adores your heart, and it really appreciates your spirit, your intuition, really appreciates all that your heart does to support it, to support the efforts of convincing the mind that it's okay, don't freak out, it's okay, we're going to do this, it's new, it's out of our comfort zone, don't freak out, don't freak out. We're stepping outside the yard. No invisible fencing to keep us in. The mind is like, no, you're going to die. Oh, my God. You know, And your heart is like, it's okay, mind. We got it. We got it. It's okay. It's okay. It's going to be good. It's going to be fine. We're going to be all right. And the soul, your spirit, your intuition is going, okay, and take a step forward. That's simply it. <laughs> That's how I envision the dialogue anyway. <laughs> That's how I envision it. So to me, this energy of homecoming feels like a celebration of a union. It feels like a marriage is what it really feels like. This commitment to you and you. The commitment that your beautiful, bright, godlike, universal consciousness spirit has in devotion and pure, pure unconditional love to your human expression. That means your spirit loves your body, your spirit loves your heart, your spirit loves your mind, and it loves all, all that you are experiencing and all the messiness there's no judgment about it from your pure soul. There's no judgment whatsoever. None. None. You are held in love. 
You are always home in your heart. You are always home here. All right. Whew, this kind of feels like a deep topic. I would suggest to do some journaling. So there's kind of two parts to this Sunday morning coffee. It feels like we first talked about homecoming and then some of the past stuff like high school and experiences you may have had in high school might not have been so great for you. Or you might have had suffered like a loss during that time, like um, someone significant had left your life, whether it be through death or through a breakup or moving away, et cetera. You might want to go back and if you were triggered by that in any way, honor the grief that you had about that experience or the grief that came up about that experience so you can clear that because it must be attached to something that is similar to what's up right now. There might be an undertone of grief that you're experiencing or feeling of loss or a little bit of fear that's coming up for you. Maybe it's around anticipation of a decision. Maybe you're thinking about going back to college. Maybe you're thinking about buying a house or investing in a business or et cetera. And you might be uncertain about that. And so there might be this fear of loss that's kind of clouding some of the judgment about that or the decision making. And it might actually be related to that thing from high school. And I know that sounds maybe strange, but it's really true. All of our stuff, like there's common themes. It plays out in different arenas or different parts of our lives, but there are common themes, common threads. So when you heal one part, you heal another part. You, you really can expand the energy of understanding, of kindness, of, of self-compassion, and of healing when you allow yourself to, to explore some of those areas and those things. I'm not suggesting you go dwell on the past. I'm saying if there is something that came up for you related to these things, journal about it. Just journal. Let yourself have a conversation with the old you about it. Okay, You can do that. You can certainly do that. But also there's a piece here that feels like a recognition of your soul as your home or your spirit as always, like that home is not a destination or a place or location, it's a feeling. And the feeling comes from the energy of your spirit and knowing that you're pure essence and you're just light and you're just energy and that the closest thing to light and energy translated into human form is your heart and your feelings and your emotions. So it makes sense that the heart would partner with the soul to create this union and the expression of your experience for this lifetime. It totally makes sense. So you can go ahead and journal on those topics as well. So this is Bridget. Thank you so much for listening to the Sunday Morning Coffee podcast about homecoming. And um, it just kind of makes me giggle a little bit because it is kind of nostalgic a little bit. But it also has a higher, there's definitely a higher consciousness piece that I'm, I'm very aware of in regards to this. And I'm going to journal about this topic myself. I feel like I've just touched the tip of the iceberg here. And so I'm curious about this. So I'm going to kind of follow where this may lead as well. So grabbing out that journal. Thank you so much for being here. I hope I've inspired your spirit and filled you with hope today and encouraged you to live your life. This is your life after all, and you get to live it. Just live it. Thanks for being here. Make sure you like and subscribe to Above Life Channel here on YouTube so you never miss an episode of Sunday Morning Coffee, which comes out on Sundays our podcast here. And on Mondays is when I share my weekly channeling videos. 